Hey guys, we are talking transformations today, which is different ways that shapes can move within the coordinate plane. In this video, we are specifically talking about reflections. If you need a different type of transformation or some other reflection videos, I will link a video for you in the corner or a playlist, I should say. All right, so we have this big triangle here and we want to reflect it over the x-axis. So how I like to think of it, here's my x-axis, is you could, one way to think of it is as if this were a mirror, what this shape would look like on the other side. Another way I like to think of it is if this triangle were like wet paint or something, and I were to fold across the x-axis, what it would look like on the other side. That's what a reflection is. So there's a couple different ways we could think about this. If I just wanted to try to figure it out myself, I could think, well, if I go over negative nine and up two, that's my original point, right? So to reflect it over the x-axis, I'm just gonna go negative nine down two instead, right? Wouldn't that be that reflected point there? Well, yeah. So basically what I'm going to do when I'm reflecting over the x-axis, my original point, the x is going to stay the same. I'm still going to go over negative 9. It's the y point that's going to change. Now the number is going to stay the same. I'm just going to go down instead of up. So an easy way to think of this is if x, y is my original point, my reflected point over the x-axis is going to be x negative y. The x is going to stay the same. The y is going to change its sign. So the first thing I'm going to do is figure out what these original points are. All right, there's my original points. Now all I need to do to reflect this shape is change y sign. So I, instead of having negative nine two, I'm gonna have negative nine, negative two. Then I'm gonna have negative seven, changing y sign to negative nine. I'm gonna have four stay the same and then negative five. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and plot those points. Okay, there's my points. That's looking pretty good. Now I'm going to connect the dots. All right, there we go. Does that look like either that's a mirror or I folded it over the x-axis? I think it looks pretty good. All right, if you need a video about um, reflecting over the y-axis or some other transformation videos, I'll link a playlist for you. Thanks.